hello everyone so for our video file we can just copy everything and make a new directory sorry new file so video underscore screen and paste everything and here we can change the name from photo screen to video screen so in now we are going to change few things only so we can remove this capture photo function just comment out this and we can change this file here so not this file this widget so we can we can write toggle recording and everything will be similar except for this we can add a child so is recording we need to new need new variable so we need a boolean variable here instead of capturing we can write uh, let's add another boolean variable so is is recording equals to false so now here we can add is recording if it is false then show icon icons dot play arrow color colors dot white and size should be around 40 and after this we can add if is recording is true that means it's recording then icons dot stop color colors dot white and size 40 and now we can add this toggle recording function so let's add that here after this set focus point so void toggle recording if is recording is true then we can add another function stop video recording and else start video recording now let's write this start recording function so start video recording 
and you make this asynchronous so if controller dot value dot is recording video final directory equals to await get temporary temporary directory we can remove this path provider and this path now let's add final path equals to inverted comma directory dot path video underscore date time dot now dot milliseconds since epoch dot mp4 now try let's add try catch await controller dot initialize await controller dot start video recording set state is recording equals to true and video path equals to path we need to make a new variable string video path an empty string Path, then catch then print a return and now we have we can create another function stop video recording We can make this asynchronous as well and now let's add if controller dot value dot is recording video try final x file video file equals to await controller dot stop video recording then set state is recording equals to false and 
if video path is not empty then final file file equals to file video file video file dot path await file dot copy video path await gallery saver dot save video video path then play a sound effect we can just copy this and paste it and then add a catch print now our recording video is complete we need to change few things so let's go back to our photo screen and here we can make this orange accent and this one we can wrap in a widget just a detector on tap navigator dot push context material page route builder video screen cameras widget dot camera Now let's go to video screen. Now when we are recording, it should record fine. Now let's stop recording. Let's see whether it's saved on our gallery or not. we can see the video and why is that let's check again let's remove this this file
so let's remove this from here you can write empty container and let's stop this and run it again and here we can make it orange accent our app is running so let's wait for a bit So now let's go to video screen and let's start recording. Now let's stop. think there is some error in the function so let's make it work it's showing path not found exception so maybe we have written a wrong path so let's see here is the issue we used dot so now let's run it again now let's go to our video now let's start recording now let's stop recording let's see whether our video has been captured or not we can only see photo in the gallery let's try again
now let's see yeah our video has been recorded so our video is working properly